Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make your own Procreate mock-ups using Canva's Magic Media. So this is the collection that I have that I've been making and using with Magic Media. We're gonna open up a new file. I always do 3,000 pixels by 3,000 pixels. Gonna type in white kitchen towel hanging off of counters in Italian style kitchen to see what we get. And usually the pictures are pretty okay. Uh, selected this one, not a fan of it. Want something a little small, not necessarily hand towel. So we're gonna rewrite some words and say small, white kitchen towel hanging off the counter. Eh, that still didn't work. And sometimes with Canva's Magic Media, you don't always get the best picture. So you can always switch it up or just keep altering the words so you get what you like. So I noticed that I put white kid swimsuit. I meant to say like white swimsuit for kids laying in the sand, but you get my gist. My main thing is finding a image that has a white um, item, like focus item, mock-up item, and using that for the mock-up. I did the same thing for the uh, white blanket and a stylish green chair, just to give some style and dimension. Now we skip over to Procreate and this is where we will start importing our image. I make my canvas 3000 by 3000. Um, we're gonna insert our photo that we downloaded. And then from there, we're gonna make a new layer and pick the brush that we like. Honestly, all you're gonna do is just trace the outside of your focal image. I didn't do the fringe because for this tutorial, I wasn't necessarily caring about the fringe, but you're gonna trace the entire image all the way through. Use whatever color you like to kind of see the differences and like the little details in it. And then you're gonna connect the image I'm sorry, you're gonna connect the tracing and then fill the color. I always change it to white and then I make a new layer. Now it's important that the layer that you trace, that you uh, click it and make it multiply because then that's how you see the actual like distinction of your focal point. So you can see like the curves and everything in the blanket. And then after that, once you have your new layer, you're gonna click the wrench and then you're gonna import your image or file. And then once you have your image or file inserted, you're gonna click on that and then click Clipping Mask. Clipping Mask is where the magic happens. It automatically translates into your um, mock-up. Now you have a mock-up with your, your designs on there. You can alter it, you can make it lighter, darker, you can scale it up or down. And I'm gonna show you what I mean when I say like scale your image up and down because we're gonna do another example of this mock-up. Here we are adding another image and we're scaling it down. We can make it larger or bigger, the design that we like. And just see how we want to position on our mock-up. Here's another example on the white swimsuit. I already did the tracing of it. I'm inserting the file. I am selecting it and making a, a clipping mask. And then I'm just resizing my design. And I think it's cute, smaller. If you have any questions about this mock-up, this tutorial, please let me know in the comments below and follow for more tips. Thanks for watching.